Diamonds bullying on my chest, no fucking blouse up. Bitch, I make it rain, y'all. You did that. They want to know a thing about you. You still that. What's up, guys? Hedda Gaming here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to save a rare outfit with the glitched fly suit pants. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to make it look like a modded outfit using multiple clothing glitches. But without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright, so the first step is to join any humane raid heist setup. I believe it works with all of them. And make sure the outfit's customization is set to crew full choice. So that means you guys can choose the outfit and you guys just want to choose the exact same outfit I'm going to pick which has the flight suit pants. But keep in mind all heists might not have this outfit so you guys can join with quick drop through your phone and find different heists. Or you can have a friend invite you or you can launch up the heist if you guys have it. But all you want to do is look for a heist that has this outfit that I'm wearing with the glitch flight pants as I said so it's called the radar outfit style and it's the metal so simply select it and ready up for the heist to start up so once it starts up all you want to do is open your action menu go into your inventory outer show bike helmet and keep spamming X on it for around 10 seconds and make sure it stays on on so keep turning it on and off for around 10 seconds and after that, you guys want to do the exact same thing to body armor. So keep switching it to on and off for around 10 seconds and make sure it stays on. So this will help the outfit stick once we back out of the high so it can save. And if you would like, you can go over to high gear and put on the radio headset so it can make the outfit save even more. But after you guys have done all that, all you want to do is back out of the high through your phone. And if everything was done correctly, you can just spawn in a new session with the heist outfit as you guys can see. So all you have to do is go over to any clothing store and save it as an outfit. But after that you guys want to go over to your high end apartment and you guys want to go near the telescope. So the next step is to open your ration menu, go into your inventory and go down to gloves. After that you guys want to put on the blue surgery gloves. So after you guys have put on these gloves, simply go up to the mask section and put on the blue vampire mask. So as I said, all you have to do is join the uh, Humane Raid Heist and most of them have this outfit. If not, you guys can try a different heist, but make sure it has this outfit. But after you guys have done all that, simply do the telescope glitch where you run to it and press right D-pad after you guys pass it and it should glitch out. So once it does glitch out, you guys want to go into your inventory one more time and go to helmets. After that, select the black bulletproof helmet and if you would like, you can select any glasses of your choice to make it look even more glitched out. But it's up to you, if you guys don't want glasses, simply back out of your interaction menu and walk away. And you guys should notice the mask will glitch onto it later on, as you guys can see. But after you guys got all the helmet, the mask and the glasses glitched together, as you see, simply resave it as an outfit and erase the previous one in your wardrobe. So for the next glitch, we're going to be doing the glitch night vision goggles, so all you have to do is put on any other outfit that has them. And after that, hover over the outfit that we're creating, and as you guys can see, it will transfer them to it. So simply press X on the outfit, so you are now wearing this outfit, but in order to save it, simply delete it and resave it. But if you guys do not know how to get them, I'll have a link in the description to a previous video on how to get the glitch night vision goggles. So after that, you guys can transfer it to other outfits as you guys saw right here. So simply resave it after. But the next step is to put on any outfit that has a duffel bag. And go over to any helicopter. We're going to be transferring it to the outfit that we're creating. But also, if you guys do not have the duffel bag, there will be a link in the description to a previous video on how to get the duffel bag. And after that, you guys can use this method to transfer it to any other outfit as well. So, as I said, go over to any helicopter. But once you guys are there, all you want to do is get into it and make sure you're wearing the outfit with the duffel bag. And now, I suggest flying over to a clothing store to make things faster. So, just hover over a clothing store. So, once you're high enough, simply jump off and open your parachute right away. After that, you guys want to open your interaction menu and hover over the outfit that we're creating, but do not press on it yet. And now, try to land as safe as possible. 
So once you land it and he's taking the parachute off halfway, simply press on the outfit and it should transfer the duffel bag as you guys can see. So it's as easy as that. So simply resave it and erase the previous one in the clothing store. So for this last glitch, all you guys want to do is go to fly suits and select the black flight suit. After that, go over to the strip club. We're going to be glitching the fly tube onto the outfit that we're creating. So once you guys are at the strip club, all you simply have to do is walk inside, open your national menu, and put on the outfit that we're creating. And as you can see, there's no tube yet, but once you guys walk outside, it will glitch onto the outfit. So as you guys saw, this is very easy. So now just resave it at the clothing store that's right across the street, but make sure you guys do not get in the car, or else the tube will disappear and you guys have to start all over, so simply run to it or take a motorcycle. And resave the outfit. But that's basically it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. That'd be highly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe so you guys don't miss any future content. But that's basically it. It's been Head Eye Gaming. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you all in my next video. Peace.